Okay guys, this is a quick video on how to remove the main body shaft, essentially. Um, what you've got is, we're in a situation now where we've already removed the pedal, the light ring, the outer de decorative shell. That's all been taken off. If you don't know how to do that, go to our how-to videos, go to our channel, look at the playlist. There's a how-to playlist. There, it's in there, how to do all that. Um, we're at the bit that we're at the moment um, is a is a critical one, and this has come up from people that want to get their shells sprayed or just replace the body unit um, for some unknown reason. Maybe they damaged it uh, or whatever. Now, what you've got is you've got a battery side, and you've got on the opposite side you've got the main board, so the control board on that side. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you do the battery side first. Um, typically this is on the right hand side. Okay, so right hand side, disconnect the battery. First, you need to do that first, very important because you can short out the board if you do not do that. Um, set these aside. So that's what you do first before you start working on it. Taking these apart to this level will void your warranty. Um, if you have ordered the shells to be sprayed, then we will at speedy feet we will we will still honor the warranty as long as you don't get a hammer and smash it or do something silly that we haven't told you to do um, then you're fine another thing that's come up is the tightening of the screws the screws here are torqued up to a specific level don't go along and tighten them all up because you run risk of fracturing or ruining the threads where they go into by over tightening them. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I'm curious to how my 9 bot one works and for no other purpose apart from that, please don't strip it down. It's, it's, it's not, this video is not for people just to go and explore their 9 bot one and try and take it to pieces because the chances are you run a risk of damaging it. Um, and obviously you don't want to be doing that if you actually want to ride around on it and enjoy it. Uh, this is for people that either outside of warranty but uh, Speedy Feet will still help you anyway. To be honest, um, two years later, we offer a two year warranty from Speedy Feet on everything on here and we'll help you out endlessly. So this, you've got to be careful not to damage this area. Now, one of the things is if you remove this side first, don't be tempted to take that cover off and then flip it over and do the battery side. Battery side first. So if you take this off first and it happens to be on a different side than I've shown you, for whatever reason, put the cover back on, put one screw back in at least, turn it over so it's protected, take the battery out. Then turn it over and then work from this side upwards, basically. So you need to protect this board as much as possible. This is the heart of the whole nine bot, essentially. Um, I need to go and get an Allen key. And what we're doing is these screws around here, remove those, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. And what you need to do is remove those. I try not to jump ahead too fast. And this thing is a... If you're using a power drill, don't use it on the circuit board ones. This is a very low powered screwdriver essentially. Don't go hacking away with it with an 18 volt D-Walt because you're just going to break it. Those are all apart. And what that leaves you with is basically all these loose. You still can't take it off. You need to remove the rubber grip. Try and keep that clean. It's got stickiness on it. That's cool. So basically, if you have a spray, um, this part, the gluey part anyway, will just be sprayed over. It's not seen. It doesn't need to be clean inside there. Um, it doesn't matter, it's hidden by that. Um, 
So just try and keep that stickiness there if you can. It helps when you're putting it all back together again. And you've got the same again. So these are a blessing and a curse at the same time because sometimes they get jammed like that. Oops, easy. Let's, uh, let's just undo that one. Sometimes these things are just easier just to do by hand. It's just being sensible with the tools you're working with to make sure you are actually being sensible. So this is the most complicated side and there's no point in me really showing you the other side. It's the exact mirror image of this. The difference with this is you've got the circuit board which I say you need to protect at all times. Try and keep it as, you know, as protect as you can. You want to be putting it onto some soft cloth you can see here, this is the material that I lay down. Um, it actually comes from the workbench. When I'm doing any work on the nine box, um, then it's constantly lay on a cloth. Now, I put those on the magnet. You can't lose all the washers. They're compressed, so they've got a compression washer there. And then you can actually rip out the magnet with it. And they're handled in a nice little bundle. You see, you can't lose the screws. Little tip for you. So that now will be loose as you can see. So what you've got here is an overlap piece of plastic. Don't pull that up too much. It's designed to have a little bit of movement to allow you to move the wires. When you're moving the wires, gently, always the same, just gently, never force anything. Nothing on this unit needs to be forced or should be forced. Just pull those wires out very, very gently. And remember where they were before you started messing around with them. These are your light wires you'll have two. You've got two short ones, which are obviously for this side, and the longer ones feed through. So take note of where these wires are feeding through to, and that will help you. And you need to feed back through the same side, the battery wires, by removing the clip exactly the same. And then what you end up with is that hidden there. Now that circuit board now is disconnected completely now from the unit. Be careful with these wires, don't tug on them, don't pull them. This has been sprayed with a silicon spray. If you touch it, you can feel it. Um, don't be alarmed, it looks exposed, but it's all sprayed over. Um, so, what you then have is you have all the screws here. Now these ones, you do not want to over tighten. Make sure you keep a note of which screws you're taking from where and don't lose any. Now the putting back together is the exact opposite of taking it apart. When you're putting it back together, and there's a general rule across many, many things, is to put a screw there, then there, then there, then there. So you're not exerting a lot of pressure. Don't put the screws all on one side, clamp them all down, and then tighten them up, just gently. And remember the, the tightness that these are on at the moment. Now this is like on a heat sink, um, sat on a plate there. There's a plate underneath there which come off. This feeds back through into the center of the nine bolt. You just need to push down here to remove this adapter. Don't pull on this part. It is cable tied in. This is the looser part, this side here. Gently take it off. And this simply, it's got an arrow here and an arrow there. You just unplug it. So wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And there we go. Careful not to bend the pins, don't damage the pins. It's just being sensible and very, very careful because it's your investment. And as I say, you're going this deep into it you, you, you're voiding your warranty essentially. Um, I don't think anyone else would even help you out if you took this apart. Speedy feet will, they're trying to assist as long as you aren't being stupid. You've got to be sensible. So let's take this out. As you can see, there's the screws that went on that side. With this, just gently pick it up. If you're gentle enough, the plate comes with it. it you'll recognize that if you've ever messed around with PCs and stuff, you've got this sort of feels like a very plastery sort of feel. That's to do with the heat sink. So you put that just aside there. Yeah, there's a rubber grommet, which, or sorry, a gasket, not a grommet, a gasket that sits in there. Keep that safe and dust free. You don't want to be getting that dirty. I put it in the leg support. There you go, you put it in there. You can't really lose anything. Um, and what you've got now is a completely stripped down. The important thing to remember, and you'll find that some of these may not have been done for you. Um, what you've got to remember, 
is that this cable runs directly into here. You don't want to be pulling this cable or trying to force the cover out. That is not what you want to do. So you just have a general feel. You can feel which ones are fully out. Okay, now, carefully don't lose all the screws like I'm trying to do. This here, I tend to hold that out, pick it up that angle, and then work it around until it comes out without putting any pressure on it. Now, there we go. There's all the screws, save all the screws. The best thing to do is put them in little plastic bags as in the screw type, so sort them into order. Especially if it's going to be off for a long time, you need to remember how this went back together. You've got this video now, so you're lucky. So there you go. That is how you take off the side. That is the most complicated side. You do not want to stretch this by pushing it over that way. So take it off like I've done, if you're taking it off at all. That's the one side. This section, once the other side's undone, comes off. So you have the handlebar, sorry, the, the, the carry handle. Um, and you have that as a separate section. And this comes off. If you want to, you can unmount the carry handle there but essentially that is the nine bot how to take it apart that deep that's very deep you're basically taking the whole thing apart essentially this is just just really really simple there's nothing feeding through here you've got to be careful not to catch any of these cables same when you put it back together again make sure you're not pinching cables especially before you start tightening it back down you do not want to be crushing cables on any of the joins on this I say again, I will reiterate, you're totally responsible yourself for taking this apart. This video is here to try and help you. Uh, you know, this gives tips. But ultimately, you are responsible for what you do here. Take it slowly, gentle, and just make sure you put things aside. Try and protect them as much as possible. That's the heart. Don't damage that. Don't damage this cable here. When you put it back together again, if it's not going in, do not force it. It will go in. It was there in the first place. Just gently... Try and get it back in, there's arrows to help you line it up. You don't want to be catching that cable over that lip. When you push it all down, you just need to make sure nothing's trapped, just take your time to do it. If you're completely unsure and you make a total mess of it, you can always send it to Speedy Feet and we'll sort you out. And we know what we're doing, we can put it back together again for you. Um, you know, we we'll try and help you out as much as we can, but it, ultimately you're responsible. I do not want people blaming me because they tried to follow the video and they've got something wrong, they screwed it up. And then it's all Speedy Feet's fault, or my fault, or whatever. Okay, so what I've done there is I've shown you how to take off the hardest side, which is the one with the board and the wire sticking through. That being said, it's fairly straightforward. I don't encourage you to do it unless you really, really have to. If you're getting your shells resprayed, um, then you're going to have to take it apart because you want the shells resprayed. So there you go, guys. Take it easy, and I hope this has helped.